Hey Legends, welcome back to another episode of the Kings of Legacy show. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to navigate other people's opinions. And I want to talk about other people's opinions today in a way that's going to help you navigate them next time they pop up in your world because we all know that they pop up here there and everywhere everywhere and it's something that we're all exposed to yet I probably think it's not spoken about enough and I want to dive into a particular area too and it's in the moment when you are feeling super frigging pumped about something, maybe it's a new idea for a new business venture, maybe it's a new idea for a quirky holiday, maybe it's a new desire to move house or buy a new car, whatever it is, or maybe it could be something even smaller. Like you're super pumped about trying out a new recipe for dinner, or you've bought something from Bunnings that you know is going to level up your lawn. <laughs> you get the idea, big or small, you are radiating that positive energy. And I find it very interesting what happens in these moments. What happens around you when you are throwing epic energy out there into the world? And have you ever experienced this? You're all fired up and excited about something that you're super, super frigging pumped. Like you're radiating that positive energy and then boom, it hits you. Like a damp squid tea towel just drapes all over you and puts out all of your excitement. Now, whether it's a certain person, a passing comment, a friendship group, a relative... Fuck, we've all had that moment, right? Or is it just me? <laughs> okay, this is the moment I want to talk about in today's episode because when dealing with the bigger stuff, these moments have a huge impact on our trajectory one way or another. And I, I want to share a couple of techniques with you today that I use to protect my fire and my energy and they may be useful for you too. So now before we dive in, I want to make it perfectly clear that I understand that it is my own perception and I allow myself to feel certain ways and it, I'm not just pointing the finger here, but for a little bit more context, and it was the example that I thought about when I was writing up today's show, I once made the decision to leave a gym um, where I was working at and set up open air fitness and I had this guy he was kind of like a regular in the gym Um, we spoke a few times but I wasn't super close with him or hadn't had a real close connection with him and he heard that I was leaving the gym and I, that was and he heard about what I was moving on to to, to set up open air fitness and one day and it was one of the last days in office at the, the gym I was working at, he walked into my office and he said something to me and he said, when you get bored of running around the park and want to get a proper job, give me a shout. And then he just passed his card to me and he kind of just like slingshotted it across the desk. And now don't get me wrong. Could he have just genuinely be been trying to be a nice guy at the time? and help me out? Yes, absolutely. That is a possibility. But I have found more often than not, and in that particular moment, he was being a damp squid, 100%. I have a pretty good read of body language, and it, was, it wasn't it was done in a helpful way. And maybe you've experienced some something similar. Someone's just come in, big fire extinguisher, and just put out all your flames. Now, it can come down to a number of different things. Like, are they jealous of you? Are they worried what you're going to reach, like the heights you're going to reach that they maybe have dreamt about, but they've never actually done it? Um, are they just afraid of change? Or do they, like, do, they, do they operate from a really high level of certainty in their lives? Do they just have the adopted behavior from past generations that is to operate through a lens of criticism? Possibly. These are all possibilities and there are so many different possibilities. But the point I want to make here, and it's some of the best advice that I have ever been given, is don't take criticism from people you would never go to for advice. And not to say that this guy was criticizing me, but you get the idea. Now, 
just to go back to the Open Air Fitness story, Open Air Fitness is about to turn 10 years old and it has given me far much more professional, financial and spiritual growth than any label, quote unquote, proper job could have given me. Imagine if I had listened to that guy or let that guy's uncertainty eat away at my own certainty. I was certain I was going to make it work and I did. And I want to give you a couple of practical ways to deal with situations like this, like this, if they ever arise in the future for you. So number one is be super mindful of your own reaction to the comment or the criticism. And the first thing is like just understanding that awareness is the first step to managing your emotions. Number two is And if you can do this, this gives you like a superpower. Could you validate them without necessarily agreeing with what they say? Let me say that again. So number two, could you validate them without necessarily agreeing with what they say? I always think about this as like you're almost playing in a different realm, like you're in a different... You're in a different world to them. You're you're on a different pitch. You're in a different league to them when you start to do this. So you are essentially acknowledging their viewpoint without letting it just piss all over your party. And it does take a little bit of practice doing this, but when you master it, it literally acts like a shield to guide you from the shit. And a shit shield, let's call it that. It's really, really powerful. Number three is create boundaries. If you find that you have like a regular offender in your life who is... Someone maybe you just can't get rid of, like a close family member. Um, just create the mental boundary that they are not the person that you go to when you've got new ideas or you've got that new energy fire flowing through you. Just create that boundary mentally for yourself. If something really knocks you and your confidence in some in something, like one of those things we spoke about at the start, I highly encourage you to use visualization. Visualize the outcome that you want over and over again. Picture the success and see yourself achieving the goals you've set, despite the criticism of the critics. You've got this. You can do this. Thanks for joining me on today's episode. Super short one. Make sure you follow and subscribe so you don't miss out. And until next time, remember, fuck small talk. Life's too short for it. See you soon.